successfully see. Christmas trees are one of the most underutilized resources available. We're striving to reuse our tree and find ways to more efficiently use our rocket engines. How was this idea conceived? Well, you might say it was immaculate. What is science's role in Christmas? How many little kids have calculated exactly the number of seconds that Santa would have to deliver presents down their chimney? You know, there are millions of kids out there who have probably done that math problem. And so, you know, we're just, we're just extending that. Oh, the math was nothing exciting. It was just a little differential calculus. All of the Christmas tree dynamics have been worked out in rigorous detail. I expect the Christmas tree to launch to approximately 100 feet, then turn over and fall and land like a dart. I think that this just really goes to what it means to be an American at Christmas time. Well, the emission system is really simple. We just have uh, 32 SD's D120 class engines, all wired in parallel with individual igniters. We're going to use a car battery to provide the power. Uh, it should be very instantaneous. All engines should fire within about 10 milliseconds of each other. Is it possible that the tree will explode on launch? I think that's a minimal chance. A reflection of my childhood? This Christmas tree is a mirror. I would say that this event goes beyond community oriented and, and really enters into the ground of, of nation building. No, I don't think astronauts have been given an adequate chance to celebrate Christmas in the past. Uh, this is really a tribute to them. The whole family can enjoy this experience. How does mom feel about it? Did you ask mom? <laughs> Are you kidding? She's coming home.